Okay. So, white and yellow belts. We have a new student joining us. She's brand new. She just started this week. Let's give her a big warm welcome to, <clears throat> she's on the top left of my screen. I don't know where she is on your screen, but it's Michaela. Let's give her a round of applause to welcome her. Congratulations on starting your journey, Michaela. We're gonna have a lot of fun, and I can't wait to see you in the dojo when this is all over. <clears throat> okay, everybody. So we're gonna start off with our kicks. We're gonna start off with front kick. So I'm gonna describe a front kick really quick just while I'm tying my belt on, then we're gonna get rocking and rolling. Okay, so front kick. Make sure that you bring your knee up first, like any kick. If you're, the higher your knee goes, the higher the kick is gonna go. Not only the height, but the control of the kick is gonna be much better. So the higher the knee goes, the higher the kick's gonna go. Front kick, when you extend, curl the toes back so that you hit with the ball of the foot and not with your heel, okay? So make sure you're hitting with the ball of your foot, kind of like if you're standing on your tippy toes, all right? So, one leg in front, one leg in behind, hands up. And let's start off by kicking with the back leg. My giddy, my giddy is the Japanese word for front kick. My giddy. Ready? Itch. Shh. Knee. Shh. San. Shh. Curl those toes back. Shi. Shh. Let's kiai now. Go. Ha. Switch legs now. Switch legs. Okay, same thing from the other side. Knee up, curl the toes back, hit with the ball of your foot. Ready? Itch. Shh. Knee. Shh. San. Shh. Shi. Shh. Go. Switch sides. Okay, so I'm counting in Japanese. Ich, ni, san, shi, go. That's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this time, yoko geri. I'm gonna turn this way, okay? So yoko geri, or in English, side kick. Side kick, yoko geri. So open your front foot, okay? Now we're gonna rotate our hips. Knee comes up. Rotate the hips, kick with the side of the foot, the blade of the foot, and then back, okay? Hands up for balance. Hit with the blade of the foot, knee up first. That's super important. Ready? One. Shh. Nice. Two. Shh. Three. Shh. Four. Shh. Everybody's looking good. Five. Shh. Switch legs. Okay? Make sure you focus on where you're kicking. That way you're gonna have good balance. Like if you're, if you're kicking towards the camera, then you'll be able to watch me and watch your kick at the same time. But also, don't kick too high, because I don't want you to lose your balance, right? Yeah, don't kick too high. Okay, here we go, ready? Itch, shh, knee, shh. See, I just kicked too high there. Sun, shh. What's the point of throwing a kick if you can't stay on your feet, right? She. Go! Shh. All right, nice. This time, I'm gonna get some water because my throat's dry. Okay, so this time we're gonna do mawashigeri, which is Japanese for roundhouse kick. So roundhouse kick, we're hitting with the top of the foot. And just remember, it's called roundhouse because of the shape of the kick, right? It's more round. Whereas front kick is straight, side kick is straight, mawashigeri is round. It comes from the side. So knee up and flick, okay? Use your knee kind of like a hinge. All right, here we go. Hands up for balance, mawashigeri. Open that foot, itch, shh. Good, knee, shh. Point your toes like a dancer. Sun, shh, she, shh, and let's ki on. go, hit up, switch legs now, same thing, just using your other leg now, okay, so open, knee up, here with the top of your foot, ready, itch, shh, knee, shh, sun, She, shh, go, here, switch. 
switch legs. All right, guys. Oh no, actually that's it. We've done both legs, right? Okay, let's go into our Hachiji, or our attention stance. Both arms down in front. Let's take a deep breath. Let's bow. Let's go back to our attention stance, Hachiji. Okay, now we're gonna go down into our Kiba Dachi. Kiba Dachi is the Japanese word for horse stance. So we wanna sit down like we're riding a horse, okay? I want you to make sure that your feet are both pointed forwards, okay? Because if your feet are pointed outwards like this, then you're gonna have terrible balance. So keep your feet both forward, okay? Ready, cross the arms and sit down. Kiba Dachi, Hut. elbows back. Good, so sit down nice and low. All right, now, I want everybody to put your right hand up. I'm gonna turn around so you can see. Right hand up, okay? Now, watch. I'm going to cross my arms. The reason I'm crossing my arms is so that I cover the proper area. Because if I don't cross my arms, if I just come up from the side here, then my face block, which we're about to be throwing, is not going to work. I need to cover my face. I need to block my face. And if I just throw my arm up here, I haven't blocked my face. So I need to make sure that I cross my arms and then switch. Cross my arms and then switch. That way I am covering the spot that I need to. Okay? So, one arm, right arm up, left arm underneath like the letter L. Okay? I'll turn around now. Ready? One. One arm up, one arm back. Nice and high over the head. Ready? Two, cross the arms and switch. Three, cross the arms and switch. Four, cross the arms and switch. Nice and high over that head. Five, cross the arms and switch. Get your elbow high. Seven, cross the arms and switch. Eight, cross and switch. <clears throat> Nine, cross and switch. And 10, cross and ha! Nice work. Okay, this time we're gonna work outside block. So outside block is called outside block, why? Because you're coming from the outside of your chest, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one arm, put it up to the ear like we're holding a telephone, upside down, and then we're going to Pull one arm back, push the other arm forward. Okay? Other arm comes up to the ear, and then you're pulling one and pushing the other out. So elbow down, hand up. Okay? Don't forget to rotate your body as well. So you're coming from your ear, pulling and pushing. Okay? Here we go. Ready? One arm up at the ear, other arm out in front. Block with your arm. Ready? One. Good, other arm up at the ear. The one that's at the ear is coming forward. Ready, two, shh. Other arm up at the ear, ready, three, shh. Other arm up at the ear, four, shh. Good, other arm up at the ear, five, shh. Other arm up at the ear, six, shh. Other arm up. Seven, shh. Other arm up. Eight, shh. Other arm up. Nine, shh. Up and let's key on. Ten, hiya! Nice work, guys. Awesome. Great job following along, Michaela. You're doing a fantastic job. Okay, so let's stay low in our kibadachi, okay, in our horse stance. This time, we're doing inside block. So the reason it's called inside block is because we're coming from the inside to the outside. I'm gonna move a bit closer to the camera here. Okay, so we're gonna reach inside, kind of like we're grabbing a sword. And then we're gonna bring our arm forward. But we need to keep our elbow down and hand up. Okay, so reach underneath, elbow down, hand up. Nice. Okay, so it's kind of like a windshield wiper, if you want to think of it that way, windshield wiper, windshield wiper. Okay, so reach underneath, and one, Shh. reach underneath, and two, Shh. make sure you're always reaching with the arm that you're not using, reach, 
Three. Shh. Reach. Four. Shh. Reach. Five. Shh. Reach. Six. Shh. Kind of like you're hugging yourself. Hug. Seven. Shh. Hug. Eight. Shh. Hug. Nine. Shh. Hug. And that's ki. -yai. Ten. ki -yai. Nice. Okay, guys, stay low in that kibarachi. I know how hard this is on the legs, but let's stay low, okay? So, wrap your arm around your, uh, towards your ear. Okay, low block now, so we're gonna swing that arm down. Then we're gonna hug and swing that arm down. And hug and swing that arm down. So really, guys, with low block, you only have to focus on one arm. Whereas these blocks here, you do need to focus on two. Low block, very easy. All you need to do, hug your neck, and then shoot it down. Hug your neck, shoot it down. Okay, here we go. Hug, and low block. One, shh. Don't forget to breathe. And hug your neck. Two, shh. Hug your neck. Three, shh. Hug your neck. Four, shh. Hug your neck. Five, shh. Hug your neck. Six, shh. Hug your neck. Seven. Shh. Hug your neck. Eight. Shh. Hug. Nine. Shh. Hug. And let's ki -yai. Ten. Hi nice work, guys. Okay, stay in that kibadachi. This is our leg work for the day. Okay? So we're gonna punch now. So Michaela, you did these ones very well the other day. So let's do this punching now. Okay, so one arm is gonna be at your belt. Other arm's gonna be out in front. Make sure you have your fists closed, okay? And then flip your hands as you punch. Ready? One, shh. two, shh. three, shh. four, shh. five, shh. six, shh. seven, shh. eight, shh. nine, shh. and that's ki -yai. Ten, hi -yai. Awesome. Okay, let's go into our Hachiji to shake out the legs a little bit. I know that's pretty hard on your legs. Awesome job, guys. Awesome job. Okay. Um, if you need some water, you can grab some water. I'm just going to hydrate for a second. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to do the footwork to Taikyo Kushodan. Okay? Now, <clears throat> first of all, what is a kata? A kata is a series of moves that are put together to simulate a fight. Okay? Now, what I want you to imagine is that every time we throw a block, I want you to imagine somebody's trying to kick, trying to kick you. So what you're going to do is you're going to throw the block so that they can't kick you, and then you're going to counter with a punch of your own to make sure that you protect yourself. Okay? So low block, punch. Low block, punch. Low block, punch, punch, punch. This is the pattern of Taikyo Kushoden. Okay? Now, Taikyo Kushoden is just the name. So you can, you can look it up. It's on the student portal. You can look it up, the spelling and how to pronounce it and stuff like that. But Taikyo Kushoden simply means first cause because it's your first kata that you're ever going to learn. So that's pretty appropriate, right? So it's your first... Um, First routine that you're gonna learn, first kata, and, and that's why it's called first cause. So taikyo kushoden, okay? So first of all, all I wanna do is just work on the stances, okay? So I want you guys to follow me. I'm gonna turn my back. I want you guys to follow me through this kata, okay? I'm gonna move forward a little bit. So everybody, take your left leg, move it to the left side, ready? Left leg, good? Now I want you to walk forward, right leg. <clears throat> Good. Now I want you to take your right leg and step backwards and then turn towards that leg. Then I want you to step forward with your left leg. Good. Now take that left leg and then move it towards me. If you're looking at me, move it towards me. Left leg towards the front and hold it there. Okay? Hold it there for a sec. Keep your left leg in front. I have another sign in here. This is awesome. Okay? So, 
We have our left leg in front. Now we're going to walk forward three times, okay? Step forward with your right leg. Step forward with your left leg. And now step forward one more time with your right leg. Nice work. Now this is the toughest turn of them all. We're going to do a simplified version of it first, and then we'll do the more complex version. So what I want you to do is slide up feet together, and now I want you to turn around over your left shoulder. Turn this way. Okay, now your back should be facing me, and then we're just going to do the exact same thing, but going the other way. So, left leg moves. Now step and right leg. Now right leg steps back, and then you're going to turn towards that side, and then you're going to step forward with the left leg. <clears throat> now left leg's going to move towards the back, the back wall, whatever, wherever you came from. Then you're going to step forward with the right, then you're going to step forward with the left, and then you're going to step forward with the right one more time. Okay. Last time we're going to do this turn, this complex turn here. We're going to slide up feet together, and now you're going to turn around so that you're facing the camera again. Okay? Now you're going to move your left leg to the side. Then you're going to step forward. Then you're going to move your left leg and step back, and turn towards that leg. And then you're going to step forward with your left leg again. Good, and then Hachiji. Okay, everyone take a deep breath. Bow, Hachiji. Okay, awesome job. Okay, so we just did the kata. We just did the footwork to the kata. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to add in some punches, okay, and some low blocks. So remember, there's only two moves in this kata, low block and punch. And the two moves that we're doing are usually come one after the other. So you know low block punch. If it's a punch, what comes next? In some cases it's a punch, but in most cases it's a low block. Okay? Now, you're gonna hug your neck for the low block and shoot it down. That's how you do a low block. Punch, uh, just shoot the arm straight forward, other hand comes back to the belt. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna start with my back facing you guys, and I want you to follow me as best you can, okay? From our attention stance. Remember guys, if you don't get this today, you're gonna get it the next time, or the next time, or the next time, right? It's just constant repetition. Three keys to success, practice, 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 right? Those are the three keys to perfection. Okay, left leg is gonna move to the left side. Throw a low block with your left arm. The arm that's blocking or punching always matches the front arm. Now step forward and punch. Now you're going to move your front leg over to the other side and then turn and face that leg and low block with that arm. Now step forward and punch. Good. Now you're going to move your left leg towards the front, and you're going to throw a low block with that arm again. Same arm, same leg in front. Step forward and punch now. We're going to punch three times. Step forward, one, punch. Step forward, two, punch. Step forward, three, kia, kia. Okay, now here's the complex turn. So move your back leg, cross it in behind your front leg. Okay, so your back leg is going to cross in behind, kind of like you're doing a curtsy. Okay, now you're going to turn towards your left. That way you're in a front stance facing the left side. Low block. Step forward front stance, punch. Now move your front leg back. So move your right leg behind you, and then turn towards that leg. Low block. Now step forward and punch. Now you're going to move your left leg towards the camp, towards the uh, back. Block with your left arm. Now step forward and punch. One. Step forward and punch. Two. And step forward and punch. Three. Kiai. 
Kia! Nice. Okay, again with this three quarter turn, this complex turn. So the back leg is going to cross in behind the front leg. Then you're going to turn towards that leg that you just stepped with and block low. Then step forward and punch. Now your front leg is going to move back and turn and block down and step forward and punch. Nice work guys. Alright, let's go into our Hachi G. Let's put our feet together, deep breath, bow, Hachi G. Okay, so let me just write something down for you because this might be an aha moment, but it, like if you've already realized this or if you've already known this, then obviously you won't have any trouble. But, so take your kushoden. Whoops. Okay, so if you guys were watching me do it, okay, you'd be going two moves to the left. Two moves to the left, low block, punch. Then you'd be doing two moves to the right, low block, punch. And this goes for Hei and Shodan too, guys. Then you'd go down the floor, low block, punch, punch, punch. And that's where your Kiai is, your Kiai is right here. Wow, that's a bad start. Okay, then you do low block, Punch, low block, punch going the other way. Then you go back up, low block, punch, punch, punch. And that's where your ki is. Then you do low block, punch, and low block, punch. What letter does that make? The letter I, right? You may not trace the entire eye twice, but this is a good visual of the kata guys, right? So doing two moves one way, doing two moves the other way, four moves down the middle. You know what this also means is that the kata is perfectly symmetrical, which means what you do on one side, you're gonna do exactly the same on the opposite side. Always keep this in mind, okay, when we're doing our, our katas um, <clears throat> in this particular series. If you ever have a question of, what the shape of the kata is, what the pattern of the kata is, just ask, okay? So those people that I'm recording for later on, this is my little diagram. So this is what the kata looks like. Okay, let's do, uh, let's do the blocks again. Before class ends, I want us to do the, the blocks again, but I want us to do that in, uh, in order. So two face blocks, two outside, two inside, two low, two punches. And then yellow belts, we're going to go up to 18 blocks for you guys, okay? So if you're logged in for orange to black belt class, then we will be doing orange to black belt stuff in just a second. But for now, we're still doing the white and yellow. Okay. So, everybody, from our Hachiji, let's go down to our Kibadachi. Ready? Hey. Okay, let's put our right hand up. And let's do these blocks in order. So, face block, face block, outside block, outside block, inside block, inside block, low block, low block, punch, punch ki Yeah! Hey, okay, punch to the right, punch to the left. Elbow to the right, elbow to the left, elbow in front, left, elbow in front, right, shoot the left, shoot the right, kia, kia! Nice, okay, this time I'm gonna turn and face you guys, okay? By the way, all of this stuff, guys, is available on your student portal. Don't forget about your student portal. Review, study every day. How long do I want you to practice? If you're a white belt, I want you to practice 60 seconds. But you need to practice 60 seconds every single day, right? Why are you so good at eating breakfast? Because you do it every day. Why are you so good at brushing your teeth? Because you do it every day. Why are you so good at walking? Because you do it every day. 
Why am I so good at karate? Because I do it every day. And I'm not even that great. Believe me, there are people, there are people far beyond my, my abilities. But what I feel that I'm able to do is I'm able to connect with people. I'm able to get people to realize, ah, okay, this is how I get good, right? So let's get down into our kibadachi. Let's do uh, the blocks one more time. And again, guys, don't forget to film yourself doing your techniques. Send it to me. I will grade it and I will promote you. Kalen actually just logged in. Kalen, give everybody a wave. I just promoted him to an orange belt uh, this week. I, I delivered an orange belt and a certificate of authenticity to his house. So make sure that you film yourself and I can promote you via online, okay? So practice, 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 film, send, I will grade it. Okay, enough of me talking. Ready guys? Right hand up. And one. Two, face block. Good, set up at your ear. Three, outside block, come from the outside. Four, come from the outside. Five, come from the outside. Six, come from the inside. Seven, come from the shoulder. Eight, come from the shoulder. Nine, punch. And 10, punch ki Yeah! Awesome job, guys. Let's go into our hachiji. Let's put our feet together, deep breath. Let's bow. Let's go into our Hachiji. Nice work. Or, um, orange to black belt class is gonna start right now. White and yellow belts, you are welcome to stay and, and uh, watch, but we are gonna be doing some more advanced techniques. So awesome job, white and yellow belts. Have a great re weekend, and don't forget to send me your videos, okay? I love you guys, I miss you guys so much. We'll see you guys soon back in the dojo. Bye. Bye guys. Bye Michaela, great job on your first class. <laughs> All right guys, here we go. I may as well keep the film rolling. Okay, <clears throat> so, orange to black belts. Let's start off with our te waza. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do uh, uh, 27 blocks, then we're gonna do three kicks, then we're gonna go back to 27 blocks, we're gonna do a little drill, and then we'll uh, move on to uh, katas, okay? So it's a kata day, it's a kata review day, if you, have any questions on your katas, please let me know. I'm gonna just go through whatever I have planned today and if you need me to repeat a kata or go over a certain part in a kata or if you just have any questions about your blocks or your kicks or anything like that, let me know, okay? <clears throat> Kibarachi, ready? Hey. Right hand up. 27 blocks, two ki eyes, 20, 10 and 27, ready? Ich, ch, ni, san. She, go, ro, she, hatch, chu, chu, ha, itch, ni, san, she, go, ro, she, hatch, chu, chu, itch, ni, san, she, go, ro, she, ha. Nice work, Hachiji. Okay, I'm gonna back up a little bit. Hands up, my giddy with your back leg. Front kick, ready? Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go, ha. Switch sides. Same thing with your left, ready? Itch. Knee, sun, she, go, ha, switch. All right, <clears throat> this time we're gonna do uh, yoko geti. Sorry, I was trying to think of the Japanese. Okay, yoko geti. Okay, ready? 
Right hand up, 27 blocks, two key eyes, key eye on 10, key eye on 27, ready. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, ro, shich, hach, kyu, ju, ich, ni, san, shi, go, ro, shich, hach, kyu, ju, ich, ni, san, Shi, go, ro, shich. Good, elbows back, nice. Now at this point right here that you're standing in kibarachi, you should, especially because we just did this dynamic tension, you should feel as though there's a, there's a pencil in between your shoulder blades and you should be trying to pinch that pencil so you're not allowing it to fall. Okay, so make sure that it's really like watch, a lot of people will sit in kibarachi like this, throw their blocks like this, but watch. See the difference? When I get my shoulder blades back, I'm tall. I can actually use my hips, I can use my strength, whereas here, I can't really use my hips because my hips are, are tucked back. Forward. Okay? Alright, so, if there's not any questions, then we're going to move on to Heian, Heian Niden. Heian Niden is the first orange belt kata. So we're going to move on to Heian Niden. And then we're going to move on past there. Again, if there's any katas that you want to review as we go through, then like for example, if you're a purple belt, and we get up to the purple belt katas, and I don't do the kata that you want, just tell me. Like, can we do this kata please? Okay? Alright. Here we go. You see me yet? Okay. Hey, I need Bow. Hachiji. So look to the left. One. Back stance. Two. Three. One. Switch sides. Two. Three. Slide up feet together. Stack the hands on the left. Side kick with the back fist. Shoot them. Step forward, shoot though. Step forward, shoot though. Block. Step forward, front stand, spear hand. Right now I look like this. My hand underneath my elbow. Good. Three quarter turn. Look. One. Just like hand, show that. Two. Front leg moves to the other side. Three. Four. 
Front leg moves to the back. Punch. Slide back, crooked stance. Keep the left leg in front, punch low. Inside block. Front kick, punch front stance. Slide back, crooked stance. Make sure that no kicks can get through. Punch low. Inside block. Open, front kick, punch backhand. Reinforce block, one, two. Three-quarter turn, look over your shoulder, three-quarter turn, low block, front stance, 45 degrees, face block, punch. Front leg moves to the other side, low block, 45 degrees now, face block, punch, key out, hit up, and then step back, catch your G. Feet together, deep breath, bow, catch your G. Nice work, guys. If there's any questions on that one, then please let me know. If not, we're gonna go through one more time fast, and then I'm gonna move on to the green belt kata. Okay? So we're gonna go one more time where I'm not gonna be describing. Question? Good? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, by the way, the reason that I'm in this new space is because I find I was taking advantage of the huge space that I had and I was, I was not realizing that people actually have a, a very limited amount of space. So now that I'm shrunk down to like a, a, an 11 by 12 foot space, now I'm like, okay, this is how people feel, <laughs> right? So yeah, anyways, just uh, trying to give myself a little bit of perspective here. Okay, feet together, handy down. Hachiji. Ready. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Here. One. Because I don't love hand, uh, hand yoden, I love hand yoden. It's actually my favorite color belt kata. But I feel as though I've been neglecting seisan a little bit. So we're gonna do seisan. I'm gonna do it once facing my wall, and then once facing you guys. So I'm gonna do it once where you're gonna be able to look at me in the third person, and then once where you're gonna look at me from uh, the, the mirror image. Okay, feet together. Seisan. Hachiji. Oh, by the way, orange belts, just review Heiani Dan while we're doing this, okay? Ready? Uh, sorry, <laughs> just one last thing. Orange belts. If you, if you, and basically I'm speaking directly to you, Kaylin, if you're done Heiani Den and you've done it twice or three times already, go through all of your katas and your blocks and review your kicks because I know you have three new kicks that you, that you just learned. Okay, ready? Open. Left leg moves, back stance, inside block. Shift front stance, punch back in, pull, 
Step, front step, punch back hand, and pull. One more time, punch back hand, and pull. Side back cat stance, and then side forward front stance, kia. Kia! Step forward and turn. Step forward front stance, inside block, pull. Two, inside block, pull. One more time, inside block. Now, look to the left. Step away, inside block. Shift, punch, punch, kick, punch. Good, other side. Inside block. Punch, punch, kick, punch. And I know we talked about this before, but yeah, so right leg, left leg, now right leg again. Right leg moves, inside block. Shift, punch, punch, kick, punch. Nice. And slide up feet together. Stack the hands. And now we're going to step forward. Hey! Slide back, cat stance. Right? Stomp, hook, kick, kibarachi. Low block, right? Inside block, right? Stack the hands on the left. On the right, I'm sorry, left hand on top. Aye! Slide back, cat stance, stomp, hook, kick, kibarachi, low block, inside block. These are all kibarachis, by the way. Elbow punch over the left shoulder. Look to the right, back fist, low block with the right, inside block with the right. Now, right knee comes up, push with the left, step back, punch with the right, right, left arm comes underneath, scan, kick, punch, now slide back, cat stance, grab, down to the thighs, and turn into that hook stance. Hachiji, feet together, bow, hachiji. Okay. So if we don't have any questions, then I'm just going to do the kata facing you guys this time. That way you might be able to see a little bit more detail. Alright. Let's do it. <clears throat> Ready. Feet together. Seisan. Hachiji. Ready. Open. Left leg moves. Hey. 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 Stack on the left, right leg moves, here, hey. cat stance, hey. stomp, kick, other side now, slide up, stack the hands on the right, look,
Okay, so give me one sec. I want to show you something. Oh my goodness, this is the smallest book here I've ever seen, and I just realized it's black on black. Okay, one sec. Okay, so hopefully this, this color difference is, is good. Okay, so what's happening at the end of Saison? Why are we doing like this? It looks kind of like we're doing a dance, like, you know, who knows? Who knows, right? Okay, so what's happening is we're receiving a sidekick. So someone's trying to kick us. Now, odds are that we're not going to be able to just like stop and like catch this out of the air like, you know, uh, in the movies when they, they catch a bullet with their bare hands. Like, yeah, right, okay? So we're not going to be able to just stop the kick in midair. What we're doing is we're, we're welcoming their kick into our lap. And then imagine that this foot here is attached to an ankle then we're using our body weight to make sure that they don't do that again, right? So we're welcoming the kick into our body, and we're going to a cat stance so that we can handle the pressure, and then from there we're rotating the ankle without the rest of their body, therefore dislocating or, yeah, they're not gonna do it again anyways. So yeah, so from here, one, two, three. So I don't want you to necessarily dwell on this part, <sighs> right? Because you're not going to like catch it out of midair. What you're doing is you're just welcoming it into your lap. Okay, so, so focus on this rather than <sighs> right? Okay, any questions on say some? That was just kind of my little spiel. No questions on say some? Okay, so green belts and orange belts. I want you guys both reviewing all of your katas, okay? So start with your current katas and then go through all of your katas and your tewaza and your kicks, okay? Um, everyone else, let's go through basai dai, basai dai. Because again, we went through the hand series like 50 times in the past week, so yeah. All right. Let's see. Okay. Basai dai. Hachiji. So, bend the knees, stack the hands. Step with the right, hook with the left. Reinforce block, open hand. Now step back with your left and then adjust with your right into a crooked stance. Inside block left, inside block right. Then, step back with your right, crooked stance. Inside block left, inside block right. Right leg is in front right now. Now we're gonna pull the right leg back, feet together, sweep, bring your right knee up, outside block. Now pull back, crooked stance, inside block. Turn face to front, Hachiji stance, scan with the left. Now punch left, step left, back fist right. Step left, uh, slide up, punch left, step right, back fist left. Right leg moves, shuto. Step forward, shuto. Step forward, shuto, step back, shuto. Now you shift into a front stance. Now, left arm comes underneath, I mean, sorry, right arm comes underneath the left arm, and then circle. I will demonstrate that one in a moment, okay? So, clockwise circle. Bring the right knee up, side kick to the knee, ki, shoot go in the other direction. Aye! Shoot go. Step forward, shoot go. Now you're gonna shift into a front stance, pull back, feet together, bring your right knee up, flare the elbows. Double uppercut underneath, right leg down. Now slide up, feet together, push with the left, and step forward at the right and punch with the right. All right, so it's a shuffle step. Left leg shifts, front stance, facing the other direction, low strike, 
Now pull up, feet together. Step with the left, crescent kick, Kibarachi, low block. Now, wrap and open to the left. Crescent kick with your right, Kibarachi elbow. Then three reinforced blocks. Reinforced low blocks, that is. Slide in feet together and out with the right. High punch, low punch. Now I want you to imagine now that someone's sweeping a carpet up from under you. So you're just gonna step back and then step forward again. And one more time, ready, go. Now, from here, pull your left hand back to your waist. Three quarter turn, side stance, scoop, hammer with your right. Side stance to the right, scoop, hammer with your left. Now shoot though on the 45 degree. Now look behind you, look forward, and then step back with your left. Feet together, deep breath, bow, hachichi. All right, so um, if there's any questions, I'll take them now. If not, then I'm gonna go through this kind of one more time. Yeah, Angelina has a question. Um, what's the use of, of um, doing good, like, twists and then going back? Ah, okay, that's a great question. Okay. So, yes, you're right. and I did say I was going to go through this. Okay, let me see. I'm going to steal from my buddy Bob. Actually, I'll just bring Bob in to say hi. Because haven't, we haven't seen Bob in a couple of days. Bob's really flexible. He's showing off. He's always showing off. He can do the splits. Whatever, Bob. Okay, so... Why are we stepping back? Because what we're doing is we're making a block, right? So let's say he's punching us. We make a block and then he tries to grab us with the other arm. So then we're stepping, so then when he tries to grab us with the other arm, we're stepping back. But it just so happens that he, um, on our way backwards, he grabs our arm. So now what? Now what we're gonna do, he's grabbing my arm. So I'm gonna grab my arm and then put him in a wrist block. Right, then, ah, kick to the knee, elbow. So that's why Angelina is, because he's trying to punch us, so we're defending ourselves, right? So, shoot though, and then when we step forward, shoot though, to block, then he tries to grab us, and then we try and get away, but he's grabbing our wrist. So now that he's grabbing our wrist, now we have to uh, do the, the round, the um, wrist lock, and then the knee break. Does that answer your question? Okay, excellent. Are there any other questions before we do that kata one more time? No? Okay, let's do that kata again. I'll face you guys this time. Say bye to Bob. Bye, Bob. He's super flexible. Not only is he super flexible, but I hear his schedule is wide open. So if anybody wants to hang out with Bob. Okay, so let's put our feet together. And basaida, hachichi. Ready? Hut. Hut. Oh, I'm sorry. No kibarachi there. That's the wrong habit. Stand up. Yeah. Hut.
Hachiji. Together, deep breath. Bow. Hachiji. Nice work, everybody. Okay, if there's any questions on that kata, just let me know. If not, then we're going to move on to Basai. So that was Basai Dai. And now we're doing the original. Oh, what time is it? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was looking at the uh, small hand on my clock here. I was like, oh yeah, we still have five minutes. Okay, yes, it is time for Bo. So uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do more next time. Okay, great job. Orange to Black Belt class, feet together, bow. All right, I love you guys. I miss you guys so much. We'll see you guys uh, after the weekend, okay? Have a great rest of your weekend. And we'll see you either in boat class or we'll see you after the weekend. Good job. We'll see you guys. Bye. Bye. Are you guys going to move your camera outside or? Yeah, okay, sounds good. Okay, I'll wait for you guys.